Hi everyone, it's Tika and I am back again with another craft for all of you to do. This one will be for our mothers for Mother's Day since Mother's Day is right around the corner May 10th next Sunday. So this is a simple craft that any kid can do. They will need adult supervision for part of it, but for the most part they could be used free reign and have fun and design it however they would like to. So. We are doing a craft today using a ceramic mug and Sharpies, and I have two different kinds of Sharpies here. I have the fine tip ones, just the regular Sharpies, and then I have the super big ones too, because I'm a Sharpie hoarder, so I love having tons of Sharpies. Any ceramic mug will do in any color, honestly. I've done this before. I did this as Christmas gifts quite a few years ago. I found tall mugs. I found different colored mugs. I had blue ones, purple ones, orange ones, and I made them for my family as um, Christmas gifts. So this is a great gift idea because even if your family member or your mom isn't a coffee drinker, you can literally put anything in this and drink it. Um, I will say that they must be hand washed afterwards. Um, don't stick these through the dishwasher because I don't know how well the Sharpie would hold. So unless you did like a dishwasher safe Mod Podge over it, although it's not really necessary, just hand wash them and be careful with them. I know most of my family's members just set them up on a shelf to look at. So this is a great gift for everyone of any age to do for anything, but today we are going to do it for our moms. So I'm going to adjust the camera so that you can see what I'm doing and we will get started. Okay, now that I have you turned so that you can see, I have my mug here. I have both sets of Sharpies next to me. And I'm honestly just going to draw right on the mug. That's all you have to do. You can design it however you want. You can draw on any part of the mug. Um, I would suggest to stay on the outer edges of it just because you don't really want to write on the inside since there's going to be liquids in there. But yeah, just have at it. I like to use Pinterest and Google for ideas for Mother's Day themes. Um, I'm just going to design this one plain because my mom's not a coffee drinker and like I said I've already given her one of these so um, I'm just doing this for the sake of showing you how. I like to start with the big markers. Now I know I didn't have these before when I did this but um, I love the fat tip markers, especially for kids. They can really just go wild with it. So I'm going to draw a design on here with the black first. And yes, it really is that simple. So I'm just going to keep going and adding to it. Um, it dries pretty quick. I wouldn't like rub your hands all over it, but it does dry fairly quick and it doesn't come off. So your first take through will be what sticks, unless you would probably take some alcohol and um, maybe a Q-tip or a paper towel. You could fix any mistakes before we bake it onto the cup. So I'm gonna keep adding some designs. And actually, before I add any designs, I'm going to show you that I can. I like to add color into them too because it doesn't matter what mug you use, especially if you use a white one, the color will show up. It will fade a little bit, but it will show up in on the mug after we bake it as well. So I'm gonna add a little bit of color. The reason I traced with the black first was because the color can kind of take away some of that black. I might have to go back over it again, but at least I have an outline to follow. You don't have to do this. You can do this with all color. Okay, so there's my design for now. I think I'm going to find a cute quote or something to do on the other side. I might add a little more in here, but I'll probably speed through that so you don't have to watch me do all that and I will come back and show you what to do next. So I finished my design, I just added a little bit more, wrote a little cute saying on the back, I even did the handle. The next part is where you would need some adult supervision for a child. 
you do not have to preheat the oven, but we are going to be placing these in the oven. But the recommendation is to stick it in the oven while it's cool. Set it to 350 degrees. So we're going to put the ceramic mug into the oven while it's still cool for 350 degrees for 40 minutes. Let the oven cool down completely before you take it out. That way it kind of bakes into the ceramic so that it stays. Um, now, obviously, like I said, it's not going to wipe right off, but it does come off easily without it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in my oven at 350 degrees for 40 minutes, and then I'll be back to show you the finished product. Okay, guys, so my ceramic mug is now out of the oven. It baked for 40 minutes, and my colors actually didn't fade too bad. I'll show you. And I think it turned out really cute. So again, you bake it in a cool oven, start it off when the oven's cool, leave it in there for 40 minutes, baking at 350 degrees. Let it cool down completely, which that took about an hour and a half to two hours. I did end up taking it out of the oven to let it cool down because it just didn't seem to want to cool down long enough, but I'm also very impatient. So that's why I wanted to show you the finished product, but yep. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you make a mug, make sure you send me the pictures and I will post them to our social pages for Hickory Hollow Campground. Thanks for watching.